just a just a few months ago, um, and this is just an example of where I've seen God's love. Just a, just a few 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 months ago, my my mom passed away, um, and my mom my mom extremely holy lady. I mean, I, I'm pretty convinced that, like, she's a saint. I mean, she, she, she really is. I'm not just saying that because she's my mom. Or that she can maybe hear me right now. <laughs> um, but, but she was just, she was a holy, she, she loved the Lord. And my dad, my dad loved the Lord as well. And, and uh, I, I got to see something really interesting. In Scripture, in Isaiah, and all over Scripture, actually the whole Old Testament is scattered with this, but, but there's one, one verse, as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. As a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. And so my mom, my mom struggled with, with cancer for, for 18 months. And I got to see my dad love my mom to the gates of heaven. I got to see as, as my mom, you know, my mom, she, she was beautiful, but it, she had to shave her head for the chemotherapy. And I remember she was like hanging, or, or she was telling me that she was, she was just crying, but she goes, Paul, your dad was there the whole time just telling me, crying with me, telling me, telling, telling me I was beautiful the whole time. As my mom had like her weakest state. And then she was in and out of the hospital. She had to have, she had to have like a, a tube put into her side and she was embarrassed. And so there, was, there was just, there was a lot of just, a, a, a lot of mess with, with just suffering and the cancer. And, and my dad, and I remember, I remember after my mom passed away, um, we were all weeping. And my dad, as, as she was entering into the gates of heaven, like as he was like just holding her as, as she was passing away, we were all in awe of what was happening. Not, not only that, that she was like able to, to see God, but, but we were also, my brothers and I, we were all like just in awe of how much my dad was taking care of my mom, how, how much he was loving her. And, and I say this not to, not to like, put, put anyone up on a pedestal. I'm not saying this to, like, do that. I'm saying this, this is God's love for us. This is God's love for us. That he's taking care of us, that he's walking with us, that he won't leave us. Amen? Amen. And this is where God has, show, has shown me ah, his great, great love. That it's not what we look like, it's not what we do, it's not what we can achieve, but it's who he is. And my, my brother, I, again, I have four brothers, and this is kind, kind of concluding, and then we're going to give some things over to the Lord, but, but uh, my, my brother was, was blind as a bat. And we, we got him glasses like when he was like in third or fourth grade. My parents got him glasses when he was in the third or fourth grade. And uh, as he like put his glasses on for the first time, everything kind of came into focus and he was like, oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> we just thought he was a klutz. But we do that, I think we do that with our, with our relationship with God. We don't see things in focus. Sin, the world, the flesh, it just kind of distorts things. And we need to put on like the glasses of grace. We need to be connected to the sacraments. And it's not just like, and here's the thing. Like I, I tell my kids, I'm like, hey, go take a shower. And they're like, well, I took a shower like Thursday. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but it's Wednesday. And it's, so it's not just like a one-time thing. Like we're going to, don't be surprised because we're going to walk out of here and it's, we're going to need to hear about God's love tomorrow. I, I had a, a great priest friend 
uh, who, who taught me, when I was in high school, he taught me, he said, Paul, start your day and end your day every day with the words, Jesus, I adore you. He, because because that's, you're giving your life, you're making a proclamation, you're saying, this is who I belong to. This is who I worship. And so to this day, I mean, I'll, I'll go through my home and, I, and, I, and I, I pray and I have my whole family pray. I have all my kids. So my kids will be like wrestling in bed with each other and like punching each other in the face and I'll be like, hey, say your prayer. And they'll be like, Jesus, I adore you. But <laughs> hopefully it'll become more prayerful as we go forward. But we have to daily make this commitment. So tonight, um, we're, we're going to enter into some time of adoration. A uh, real, real quick story about St. John Vianney, um, rock star of a saint, super holy. He was always amazed at this one, uh, just a peasant, a poor peasant in his parish. Because this, this guy would, this guy that St. John Vianney kind of just looked up to and respected, he would just be in adoration all the time. And, and he said, you know, what do you do this whole time? <laughs> what, are you, what are you praying? And, and this, this guy says to St. John Vianney, I, I look at him and he looks at me. I look at him and he looks at me. And so tonight, during adoration, we're going to spend about 20 minutes just with the Lord, letting him look at you for who you really are. Because we are who we are before him, nothing else. Nothing less, nothing more. And in, and in the midst of that, I'm going, to, I'm going to actually lead you in a prayer of just giving him over these, this is what I've, this is what I've bought. Jesus, these are the lies I've bought. I've bought, I've bought that I'm unlovable. I've bought this. And we're going to just give them over to the Lord. Anytime I go into a restaurant with my kids, they just, all of a sudden, they, they, they know that they're not supposed to play with knives. And so they all just like throw their knives like on my plate. And so I just have this like pile of knives. And they're like, hey, can't play with that. Except my boys, they just like keep the knives. But, but give the Lord those, as my kids just, hey, here we go, can't do this, this will hurt me. <laughs> Extend the knife, knives out tonight. Just give the Lord all of that baggage that we bring and let him look at you as he looked at Zacchaeus, as he called Zacchaeus. And just let him love you. Stop trying to achieve anything. Stop trying to be better and just receive it. Amen? And so we're going to enter into a time. Father Colton, thanks so much for, for, for being here. Um, and, and throughout, we're going to, again, about 20 minutes, be in a posture of prayer. I ask you that at the beginning, we're going to, we're going to begin kneeling. And then throughout it, whatever best way you can pray, if that's standing, if that's sitting, if that's singing, if that's just, just listening and just being present to God tonight, we're going to do that. Please kneel.
you just in your heart to repeat after me again just in your heart that you repeat these words to the Lord we're just going to give him over the lies that we've bought the wounds the things that have kept us away from fully believing fully grasping fully accepting his love
And in the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the lie that I am unloved and unlovable. I renounce the lie that I am not wanted, not desired, and not good enough. And in Jesus' name, I announce the truth that by virtue of my baptism, I am a beloved son or daughter of the Father. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the lie that I am all alone, that no one understands me or cares for me. I renounce the lie that I am unprotected and that God has abandoned me. In Jesus' name, I announce, I announce the truth that Jesus himself promised me, I will never leave you nor forsake you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the lie that if I trust, I will be hurt. In the name of Jesus, I renounce all fear, anxiety, mistrust, and distrust. And in the name of Jesus, I announce the truth that God is my rock and my protector. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the lie that I am bad, dirty, ugly, stupid, worthless. And in Jesus' name, I announce the truth that Jesus died for my sins and that I am forgiven, washed, cleaned, justified, and accepted. In the name of Jesus, I renounce the lie that nothing ever changes and I will never have what I want. I renounce the lie that my life is meaningless and that I have nothing to live for. And in Jesus' name, I announce the truth that my hope is steadfast in Christ and that he makes all things new. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the lie that everything is confusing and that it is up to me to figure out things on my own. And in Jesus' name, I announce the truth that I have the mind of Christ. And that through our baptism, the Holy Spirit reveals whatever I need to know, when I need to know it. Oh, how he loves us so. Oh, how he loves
loves us How he loves us so I just invite you to sing that Because when we sing something we proclaim it And our hearts follow Oh, how he loves us Sing to the Lord that we need Him. That we can't see His love unless He He gives us that ability. Unless He fills us with His Spirit. And let's just pray. And let's just sing this through our prayer. Lord, I need You. Oh, I need You. Cause Lord, I need You. Oh, I Oh, 
that I stand up for on you Jesus, you're my hope and stay When I can't I stand up for on you just to sing this prayer to the Lord and Lord just give us everything that you want to give us tonight all the grace all the, the joy all the mercy Lord I need you oh I to Merco Sacramento Venere Muce Nui Et Anticum Documentum Novo Cedat Ritsui Prestet Fide Supplementum sensum defectui genitor in genitorque la sedu bivatio salus aner vitus quo Si te benedictio, procedenti 
Thank you, Father. Um, thank you. you take a seat real quick. Um, thank you. Thank you for coming tonight. Um, I know you had um, other options tonight, so I thank you. Um, look forward to seeing you tomorrow, tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be diving into um, God's wonderful mercy, and I think we'll have a lot of fun doing that. So um, let's just close. Um, uh, well, let's close with an Immaculate Mary. So we'll sing, um, and then we'll we'll see you tomorrow night. So let's just start it with a with a sign of the cross, and then we'll close with the sign of the cross. In the, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor. With Jesus our King, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Amen. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow night, six thirty.